What's up, people? This is Jodeci Dion, and you're watching The Sport of Kings. What they call me, the one, the one and only. I make sure your girl is never lonely. It's The Sport of Kings, Maryland, Maryland, Football. Without a doubt, right now you can say two things. The New York Jets, the Baltimore Ravens, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they're good teams. And they're polar opposites. The Dallas Cowboys, the Minnesota Vikings, the San Francisco 49ers are very bad teams. These two facts cannot be questioned. But why? What separates the good teams from the bad teams? Well, basically, it's about having a foundation. It's about knowing who you are, not trying to find out who you want to be. Pittsburgh, Baltimore, and the Jets have three things in common. Great defensive team, solid running game, quarterbacks, who are told not to make any mistakes. And on the other side of the spectrum, Cowboys, Vikings, 49ers, defenses underachieving, not playing well at all. Running game, not existent, even though they have the players to do it. And inconsistent play from the quarterbacks. Quarterback story interceptions, a lot of interceptions, making dumb mistakes. That's the difference between the good teams and the bad teams. It's now time to see who activated beast mode in week five. In a win over the Carolina Panthers, Matt Forte rushed for 166 yards on 22 carries and scored two touchdowns. Hakeem Nix had a breakout performance against the Houston Texans, catching 12 passes for 130 yards and two touchdowns. And even though his performance didn't help in a victory, quarterback Phillip Rivers for the San Diego Chargers threw for 431 yards and scored two touchdowns. Matt Forte, Hakeem Nix, and Phillip Rivers for week five. It's time for the one and only predictions for week six. Posting a overall 10 and 9 record and going 0 and 2 last week. People without question, I suck at predictions. No matter what, I seem to get it wrong. I go with my gut, I go with common sense, I go with what I believe I know, and I still get it wrong. And so, you know, I'm going to keep on doing it just because it's fun. But damn, if you're using me to bet, don't do it. You end up broke. Once again, there are only two games that interest me enough to even try to predict. One is called the I Told You So Bowl. And the second game, I'm calling the Stupor Bowl. The first game is a 12 o'clock affair between the Baltimore Ravens going to Foxborough to play the New England Patriots. In this game, the Patriots will finally realize why they needed Randy Moss. Because Baltimore is going to beat that ass the same way they did last year in the playoffs. Wes Walker, Hernandez, Tate, even new Deion Branch is not going to do anything against that Baltimore's defense. Baltimore wins this game. And now to the Super Bowl. The Dallas Cowboys head to Minnesota to play the Vikings. A game to have two, one and three teams playing each other. Basically, someone has to win. But honestly, I can't tell you who. The Cowboys have a good offense when they try and can score a lot of points. But their defense give up a lot of points. The Minnesota Vikings seem like their defense is finally, well, defense seems like it's finally getting together, holding the uh, Jets to uh, five field goals before the touchdowns came in. And their offense seems like it's finally coming alive. So who won this game? Well, I go with the home team and the team that has Randy Moss. One, 
Randy Moss lives to play for the, against the Cowboys because they didn't draft him back in the day when they were supposed to. Since then, he's had a vendetta against them and has scored and had some of his best games against the Cowboys in his career. So, Randy Moss beats the Cowboys. All right, people, this is it for week six of the Sport of Kings. I'm cutting it short again due to the facts my last two videos have dropped in views compared to the previous ones. So until I find a way to get the views back up, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I'll see you next time. This is your boy, Jody C. Dion. Peace.